on this episode of Patriot Games. Patriot campers are taking it to the USA, but getting there won't be easy. What do you think? Cool. Massive. Let's go get our trailer. Justin picks up his new toy, a trailer of a different variety, but he ends up in some all too familiar situations. And the boys get a taste of some good old fashioned American lifestyle. This is why you never ever drive off the track. Are these people serious? We're blocked in. Yep, good park, buddy. Sheet metal was my livelihood, but I never thought I'd be building gear like this. Every week, we turn tons of steel into rolling works of art. Some of the toughest gear in the world comes out of this factory. Building this gear is only half the fun. No one tests like we do. That's it, mate. Dude, I've got it. My passion has taken my family to the edges of the earth. Watch the game. We know how to play it. Patriot Games. Three years the Patriot Campus has been around, we've seen some massive success. But on a global scale, the inquiry has been absolutely overwhelming. For us, the next big step, the next chapter for Patriot Campus was conquering the USA. Yep, so you get the pressure. Back in 2016, Justin and Sarah, owners of Patriot Campus on the Gold Coast, flew to SEMA in Las Vegas for one of the biggest automotive trade shows in the world. Justin wanted to find out just how big the 4x4 and camping industry was in the States. Now in the States, they call touring overlanding and it's an up and coming industry. There's a lot of products in America that already exist based around this industry, but they have nothing like what Patriot Campers offers. At Patriot, we go 100 miles an hour. I don't think we know how to slow down. And even though we might plan for everything to, to come together all in a, this nice orderly fashion, it's always chaos, but it's fun. We love it and we always get there, but it's definitely a race to the finish line every time. Now, after coming back from the SEMA show, Sarah and I, we had a lot of discussions with the team involving everyone in Patriot Campers as to whether or not we were actually ready for a market that has the potential to be absolutely huge for the company. And like a Red Bull to a rag, once the decision was made, it was all guns blazing. This is what we were doing. This was the commitment. We're going to the States. It's the last day of prep for the USA spec trailers before they're loaded into containers and shipped off to California. Justin's called in his A-team to work the weekend and it's coming down to the wire. The day the container had to be loaded, we were still working. It was a mad scramble to get these things complete and loaded into that container. Chaos, mate. Chaos. Justin's one hour job usually turns into a two hour job. So when you're given a deadline of a month, usually that's two months worth of work that you've got to get done. Yeah. <laughs> Getting ready for the US is intense. Everyone's going a thousand miles an hour and this place is crazy. Get that camera out of my face. I love TV. Turn the camera off. <laughs> These were the first three prototypes of the brand new model. The new X1 GT, the X1 Tourer and the X2. We managed to button up the X2 ahead of time. And on this day, I had the Patriot A team with me. Some of the boys that have been with me from the start and know the products inside out. Justin gets involved a lot. There is babies. So yeah, he keeps a close eye on it. Keeps us on our toes. Pushing the team this hard, obviously something was gonna give. And what do you know? A couple of hours into it, issue number one. Oh, where's all the clips for the bottom? This is that new thing that Ray was working on. We put massive pressure on our suppliers as well. 
And when Warren came to me and said there was an issue with the tent, I was like, oh no, this is not the time for it. There is Howling Moon supplying that? Or are we supplying it? Don't know. Sip that bag up, I'll call Ray. We had to get to the bottom of this. The first port of call was Ray, my design manager. Hey mate, Howling Moon supplied these new bags with a, they're obviously meant to have that, those plastic clips that we discussed that were going onto the trailer. Ray couldn't give me the answers I was looking for. So I got on the phone, I called Andre, our tent supplier, he jumped in the car and flew straight there. As I perceive it, this is meant to have a little steel thing that comes out here. This is meant to have a little hook and just hooks on there and does like that. Now canvas is not our forte. We buy in these products from another supplier and these prototype tents, they only turned up the night before. So it's just a hook? Yeah, just a hook. When a prototype comes in and you go to fit all the parts and the parts aren't there, nobody knows what they're looking at. So, of course, we've got to go back to design and figure out what's what. When it came to this, I actually walked away from James and Ray. I said, guys, you decide what you want. Mm. You tell Kevin, mm. by email, by drawing, I'm out of this. Mm. When I left The discussion that I had with them, this is going to be a quick release. This is perfect, but this was going to be at the bottom and a quick, quick release clip and at the top. What, and that's what I wanted. Yeah. We're not going to get the parts in time, so the only solution is we send the parts over with Justin and he can have fun fitting them. There's nothing There's nothing yeah. I can do now, you know what I mean? But I, I, I've got to get to the bottom of where this is all coming from, mate. Yeah, yeah. Like, you say I've taken my finger off the pole, so I can't get involved in this shit. Yeah, I, know. I can't deal with these little yeah, I details, mate. I, I can't do it. I I've got 90 staff. I, know. I can't babysit everybody. I know. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? I know. Now we've come up with a resolution for the tents. That's ticked off. We kept moving along, and sure enough, issue number two. The design for the bed catches wasn't quite working. Pull it off anyway, regardless. It's got to go on the inside. Problem with the latch, when you fold the bed base down, it doesn't hook into place. All this stuff gets overlooked in design. It might work on the computer, but it doesn't work in reality. It's working fine, and then just enough to take it out. Warren is Justin's right-hand man out on the factory floor, but they don't always see eye to eye. And Warren's just about had enough. He just wants these trailers finished. If it was me, I would have just left it and dealt with it, but Justin wanted it fixed. So we pulled it apart and flipped it over. Sounds easy, but it took an hour. The boys did the final touches on the X1 and it's ready for the container. All right, come on. Can we do it? Hang Let's on, do hang it. on, hang on. I'm, come, I'm getting the forklift. Handbrake off, was. Come and guide me in, was. The second trailer is finally loaded into the container, but Justin and Warren are still at each other. You gonna deadlift that? <laughs> come on, let's say it. Go. Sweet. The team strapped the second trailer in securely. The last thing Justin needs is a damaged trailer waiting for him on the dock in Long Beach, California. Number two. Number two. Loaded. Shit. Well done, mate. With the shipping deadline looming, the team are still fitting out the third and final trailer. But they're about to discover an issue that could turn into a showstopper. In the mad rush to get these trailers into the container, nobody had realised we ordered the wrong revision of a brand new prototype awning mechanism. Oh, it's got the old awning on it. The white one will have the same one as that one as well. When were we supposed to change them? Brad was meant to order three of them for all the US trailers. The X2 got done. Yeah, X2 got done, but that didn't have any awning on it. Nobody, nobody said... These are going to break. I'll tell you 100%, they're going to break. In all my years of manufacturing, I've learnt this. You have to roll with the punches. These things, they just go wrong. But you can't focus on the problem, you've got to focus on the solution. Does this need to be changed, the foot for it as well? Yep. Yeah, it has to yeah. Side. yeah. But the whole thing has to be changed. It's, uh, it's been a 14-hour day on a Saturday. And the last thing I wanted to do 
was swap some awnings. Nobody said anything that, that it was supposed to be changed. Nobody does say anything, dude. That's, that's our problem. But we're not doing it now. Listen, was first thing Monday morning, find out if they're here. If they're here, make them pre-assemble the whole thing for me with the gas struts on and put them in the container. So it's just another job that I'm going to have to complete in the US. With the last trailer finished and ready to go into the container, the twins jump behind the wheel of the cruisers to make room for the final container load. Take it easy. And we're getting so close to getting these trailers in the container. It'll be a relief to get them loaded tonight. Where's the, paper Where's the paperwork for the other two? I on my desk. Well, you didn't test that before you put it on, did you? Well, <laughs> now, whilst I've got a team of boys running around trying to build three trailers in a day and load them into a container, my wife is that organised. She's got the three trailers packed to the brim, then she's got a whole nother crate full of gear and trees. Doesn't she think they have trees in America? No, they don't have. They don't sell plants in America. Justin is the lightest packer on any occasion. But I must say, if I forgot something at this show, he would rip me. So I put everything in there, yes, including the trees. I'll see you in the States, ladies. After a massive day, everyone's involved in the final task, closing the doors on the container. Well done, boys. <laughs> USA, USA. Well done. done. Well done. Sweet. Thank you, boys. Thank you so much. Right. Yeah. This is it, the next chapter. We're coming to the United States. Justin and the twins are on their way to the airport. It's been a few weeks since the container full of Patriot campers left for California, and Justin is calling John from 99 West Trailers to check they arrived safely. Your camera trailer, the uh, straps were loose in the shipment, and uh, there's some damage done to them. How, uh, what, how, what do you mean, mate? How much damage? So trying to get all this stuff sorted out for the US, the biggest thing that I've come across, the biggest problem is the time delay. You know, I'm, I'm dealing with a country that's 12 to 14 hours behind us. Uh, it's just some cosmetic damage, but um, the guys at ATC, the service department, yeah. are going to take the trailers and they're, uh, they said there's no problem, they should be able to fix them. Yep. They have a separate division that does this, so uh, they're going to get them all fixed up and ready for you. Mate, awesome. What about, how bad is it? Can you send me over some photos? What about parts? or Do they need parts or anything? I've got to fly into Indianapolis, pick this trailer up and load the three campers in the back. Now, if for any reason we've stuffed up with a dimension or something doesn't fit, it's going to be a big problem. No, they just said it was cosmetic stuff, so I don't, I haven't seen them myself. Okay. They said it was stuff that they can handle easily within their capabilities. Cool, man, but the gooseneck's all good, ready to go. Yep, yep, ATC has uh, got everything ready for you. We've hooked up with a company called ATC Trailers now. They specialise in motorsport trailers. So for us, what we really needed is something that can haul all the gear, but accommodate us while we're actually in America. We're going to be doing thousands and thousands of miles, and we're going to be living out of this thing. Unreal, man. Looking forward to it, John. All right, thanks heaps, man. Give me those photos. I'll give you a call in like an hour. Okay. Thanks, buddy. Cool. All right, thanks, man. Talk to you soon, man. The three trailers have arrived safe and sound in Long Beach, and Justin's relieved. Now it's time to focus on his flight to the States with the twins. All right, so here we are, we've made it. We're, we're leaving. It's all happening. Patriot Campus is going to the USA. Spoke to the boys, uh, John at 99 West Trailers. Now John's told me we've had a little bit of an accident with the container, the straps have come loose. Warren, if you're watching this, I'm blaming you for it, mate. But anyway, look, true Patriot style. They're smashed up against the side of the container. We've just had a look at the pictures. There's really not a lot of damage. The advantage with the trailers being at ATC, they got all the facilities to fix them. They don't need any spare parts. A little bit of panel beating, a little bit of paint. We're going to be all good. Next stop, USA. The excitement starts to build. For the twins, this is an amazing opportunity to explore the USA. But for Justin, this marks a major milestone and the next step in the Patriot Campers history books. It's been over 30 hours since Justin and the twins took off from the Brisbane International Airport and they're exhausted. 
but they're about to get the news that no traveller wants to hear. I am absolutely gutted. We've been travelling there for oh, 32 hours. The kids have absolutely had it. We've arrived here into Indianapolis and all of our bags are gone, everything. All of the camera gear, all the paperwork to pick the trailer up tomorrow, um, all of our customs docks for the X1s, for the container, everything is gone. They have absolutely no idea where it is. The uh, last place they saw it was in Los Angeles when we cleared customs. I'm gutted, absolutely gutted. How are we going, boys? Good. Yeah? What's the plan? We find the hotel? Yep. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Go get some sleep? When Justin goes away, especially with the twins, we do feel like half the family is missing. We're a close family. We do spend all our time together, generally. Always worry about them, the twins, as any mother would, and my husband, I just love to be with him whenever I can. The twins do love going away with Justin because they get away with murder. When they're at home with me, I kind of crack the whip. It takes me a little bit to get them back in. After a rough start to the trip, the twins are looking forward to a good night's sleep in a comfy bed. But Justin's got a surprise that he thinks will lift their spirits. Morning. That thing's awesome. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to America. What do you think of our super tour? Up? It's awesome. Hey? Yeah. How'd you sleep? Good. Good sleep? Yep. yep. What do you think? Cool. Massive. Super tour body. <laughs> 350, 6.7 litre. Yeah. 1,000 pounds of torque. Yep. Yeah? yeah? What do you reckon? Awesome. Big truck. Big truck. Big truck. All right, let's roll. So, listen, so boys, cool. yep. the airport's found our bags. They're landing at 10.30. Yep. Yep. So we'll head over there now. We'll hang out. Hopefully we'll get all the luggage. We'll go pick up this goose neck, huh? OK. Yeah? Let's yep. do it. You're getting the wrong side, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Ash, let's roll. What do you reckon? Is this huge or what? This is massive. How good is it? It's awesome. And Ash, look. It's a bit cold. This is the third seat. And we are way out of fuel, so we need to go get fuel. Okay. What do you reckon? Is this cool or what? Yeah. This is awesome. So, so cool. Let's do it. All right, boys, here we go. Yep. Wrong side of the road. <laughs> what do you reckon about truck? It's awesome. Yeah? Yeah. So we've got a couple of thousand miles to do on this, baby. Yep. What I have noticed this morning with the leaf springs in the back, this thing definitely needs some weight on it. It's a bit bouncy. But this thing pulls like a train. Thousand pounds of torque out of the box. It took me a while to to figure out how to actually get get out because I because <laughs> I didn't know. After picking up their new wheels, Justin drives back to the airport. The airline have told them that their luggage is on this morning's flight. They've told me this morning the bags were going to be on the flight at eight o'clock. Haven't turned up. They told us they're going to be on the ten o'clock flight. We've turned up again. Still not here. Now they're telling us that they're on the ten forty flight. Hopefully this is a little bit more confirmed this time. We'll get the bags and we can get the show rolling. One of the Pelicans. Yep. The luggage finally turns up and the twins run to collect it from the carousel. There's no way they'll let these bags out of their sight again. Yes, yes. All right, let's do it. I'll take these two here. So glad we got the gear. Dad would have lost it. Let's go get our trailer. After a tense wait to see if the airline could find their lost baggage, Justin from Patriot Campers embarks on a West Coast road trip with his twin boys. First stop is to pick up the massive Patriot Campers gooseneck trailer from ATC in Indiana. Thank you for calling ATC Trailers. This is Lori. How may I help you? Hi, can I have Zoe or Stephanie, please? Uh, sure. Can I tell who's calling? It's Justin calling from Patriot Campers. Yeah, sure, hold on one minute, Justin. Let me see if I can grab one for you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hello, so Zoe. Hi, Zoe, how you doing? Justin from Australia. After touching base with the team, Justin heads towards ATC, where he'll load the three Patriot campers into the gooseneck trailer and start the journey to Moab. We're going to have a big afternoon, Dad. Yep. We arrive there at 2 o'clock. We've got to pack up all that gear, unload all the pallets, get everything into the trailer and then hit the road. OK. It's going to be a big day. 
whatever. Pigs. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look, a pig. Did you hear a word I just said? Maybe. No, you were just looking at the pigs. Yes. The whole time? Yes. Oh, look, a pig. Little monkey in your head. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. It's Justin's first time driving a truck across the USA. And with so much to see, it's easy to get distracted and end up in a familiar situation. So I'm having memories of the black truck up at Cape York. One of the pivotal rules, stay on the road. Uh, pulled over to put, um, put the destination in the GPS, check the GPS, and this is what's happened. I don't, this, this day just cannot get any worse, so we've called the tow truck company. This sitting on the ground, so I'm thinking we should pull it back so we don't rip the front bar. It is freezing cold. I don't know what the temperature is. It's our first day in America. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we just got here this morning oh. from Australia. Oh, yeah? Where yeah. are you out here? Uh, we're going to ATC to pick up a trailer. I can't even feel my lips. Oh. I'm freezing. We don't, we don't get this cold in the middle oh, of winter. No, no man. Oh, Never. This ain't bad, really. Bad. Man, this is... I'm freezing. <laughs> and this is why you never, ever drive off the track. Do you remember when we were in Cape York? Yeah. Remember with the 79? Now we're doing the same thing in America. Hey, I literally can't feel my lips. I can't feel my mouth hey, moving. Dad, um, it's my... Dad. fingers and, and lips. Look, we're way behind schedule anyway. All you can do now is laugh. Yep. All right. The boys were lucky to find a local tow truck driver from a nearby town. And after sitting tight in some pretty cold weather, they're pulled free of the ditch and free of an embarrassing situation. Oh, how much? Oh, I can't believe how cold I am, man. Thank you so much, yeah. mate. Good on you, boys. Get in the car. We've got to go. Yeah. Yeah, you're a champion, buddy. All right, let's go. My fingers are numb. All oh, right, we're like not even a mile out. Amish country. Yes. Yeah. How's all the people and still getting around in horse and cart? Yeah, it's awesome. It's pretty cool, huh? Yep. Love it. Just what is this? Train again. We just missed it. There's 120 cart train. Oh, 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 look. Oh my god, it's look. there. Oh, there it is. Oh my god. Oh, that thing's sick. Yes. Yes. Oh. Justin and the twins have made it to ATC and they're buzzing with excitement. You don't see too many trailers like this back in Australia. <laughs> that is sick. That's awesome. That's pretty cool, huh? Hello, Spencer. Hey, Justin. Welcome to ATC. How are you, mate? How you doing? Nice Good to, to meet you. you. Thank you very much for having us. I've seen that trailer looking pretty proud outside. It's out there waiting for you. Let's chat Let on the way. I need that right. look. <laughs> They're a little bit excited. I don't think they've seen me this excited in a long time. I've got a lot of toys at home. And there's, and I honestly do, I've got a lot of toys at home, but I'm so excited about this friggin' trailer. It is, a, it, I like it, I think it's a beautiful trailer. We've spent a lot of time on it. Yeah, it looks the goods. My primary role at ATC is doing the design work for uh, trailers that run down uh, Value Stream 3, which is our uh, high-end line, our uh, full custom line. Hop on over to your other side. Even though you can see all the decals they put on it, did a pretty good job on the wrapping. Gentlemen. Check that out. Come on, get in there. Yes. Yes. It's got a TV. Of course it's got a TV. Wow. Big wells to fit the 33s in. Perfect. It's um, it's still surreal. I do this like you do when you CAD something together mm -hmm. and then you get to see a finished product. It, it, it's, it's just a beautiful process. It, it really is. It just brings it all together, doesn't it? I got involved in this trailer uh, by receiving the order from the purchasing side and the custom options guy. Then I get to run it through the whole system, uh, do all the CAD work on it, and then uh, do several meetings with the dealer and of course with the customer, uh, which is always an enjoyable process. The all important area, bedroom, shower, stove, toilet, gotta have the toilet. 
This is a lot roomier than I thought in here, to be honest with you. Winch, all good to go. It's a winch ball. To winch the trailers in, man. Yeah. yeah. Just notice that as I was. There'll be, there'll be a post for that as well. The only thing that I'm really concerned about is storage. There is not an excessive amount of storage in here. I don't know where I'm going to put all the gear I've got now. Let alone when the girls turn up. Ooh, suitcases. Yeah. Carpet's the other thing. <laughs> Sarah is livid about the carpet. There, unfortunately, she there was... She's so upset about the carpet. Uh, there was no way. Yeah, you know, I... I know. That was, that was my stuff yeah. up. But that's all right. Um, we'll, do, we'll do that. Let's Once we get the trailers in, let's, let's measure it up and get the cabinets organised. Absolutely. Justin from Patriot Campers is on a reconnaissance trip to the USA with his twin boys, and they're getting a guided tour of the new 40-foot Patriot Campers gooseneck trailer from ATC. What we want to do is we want to make sure that this is always unlatched when you hook up. Yep. So that's your locking mechanism there. Yep. All right? So right now it's in the unlocked position when it's up. Yep. We'll go ahead and lower this down, mm -hmm. and we'll get that sit down inside there. Yep. And then we'll go ahead and lock it up. Justin's designed the gooseneck trailer to fit three camper trailers inside. He's also designed a special prototype pulley system to help load them. But like any prototype, it's yet to be fully tested. I don't know where we're going to put all this stuff. Let's dig into the car. Beautiful. Works well. Really? <laughs> So when I have a CAD from a uh, dealer or a customer already, Justin from Patriot Trailers, that really makes the process go a lot faster and it's a lot more accurate. Having the product that he wants to put in there, just it makes it go really fast. Okay, winch. We're in the middle, yeah? Yep. Yep, pretty good, okay. All right, that'll do on the winch, guys. Just okay. undo that hook. With the first trailer in place, the boys attach some tie downs to hold it securely. Hopefully, the other two trailers go just as smoothly. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Hang on, hang on. Pardon? Where's winch? Winch up a little. Are we in the centre? Perfect. We're in the centre, Ash? Yeah. I got the models and uh, put them into the assembly. I moved things around and determined the absolute minimum width which in this case was actually determined by the sofas that are in there for sleeping. Those are the, the widest or the narrowest point of the trailer. Okay, nuts go back on so we don't lose them. And where are we gonna? Oh, well done. Where's the other one? In the other wheel? Good. Hold that and that. Okay, need the other dolly and run the winch out, buddy. Yes, Dad. The second trailer is in, and it's time for the third. But in the rush to load the trailers before sundown, no one has noticed the wear on the winch. It's my face. Boys, get out of the way, please. Yep. Get out of the way, please. Guys, look out. We've just snapped the uh, the rope on the winch now. I've done that before. That's two things that's happened to me on this trip today that's also happened up at Cape York. Look, they've got a little roller design there for the winch to winch the trailers up. The winch rope has just slipped off the, off the roller. It's been rubbing up against the side of the trailer and it's just snapped. From now on, there will definitely be somebody watching that roller every time we winch up. Justin clears the area behind the trailer. He's not taking any chances on the second attempt and it's time to get the third trailer loaded and get back on the road. Yep, you need to come in more. About another foot. Yep. By about like another four inches. Well, everything's got to go forward then. Everything. OK, give me the ratchet. Give it a bit of a push. Yep. That's it. How are we going, Yanni? Are we in? Yep, perfect. Are you sure we're going to be able to close that door? Yep. All right, get the timbers yes, under the wheels for me, mate. Yes, Dad. Timbers, Yanni. Yep. The timbers. Chock them right up against the wheels. That's it. What? Push it right up against the wheel. Yep. Really don't like how little these things are on these traps. We can't leverage on them. 
Okay. Done. Trailers are in. I repeat, the trailers are in. About time. Whoa. Let's never, ever, ever go through that again. Tommy. Before, yeah, actually, next time this trailer gets loaded, we're going to fly Tommy all the way over here. Yeah. We're in. All right, mate, one thing left. Where's my keys? Here's some <laughs> keys for you, buddy. Thank you very much. It's an absolute mate, pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm in love with it. I'm absolutely in love with it. I haven't been this excited for so long. And thank you for hanging around and giving us a hand. Glad you're, you're most welcome. Uh, Hope you have a great time. We'll get the rest of this gear loaded up and we'll get out of here, mate. Take care. Thanks again. I'll talk to you soon. Most welcome. All right, boys, we are done. Oh, yeah. Let's yeah? go. Let's get out of here. Lock that thing up. Good. You all right with that? Done. Is that left the right way? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Let's roll. It's highway time. Let's see how this baby tows. Woo. Let's go. We are loaded. The Patriot Camper's gooseneck trailer is loaded and ready to roll. And Justin's just a little bit excited about his new toy. Well, what a first day in the USA, our entry to the USA. Everything that could go wrong has gone wrong, but you know what? That's the Patriot Camper's way, and somehow we always figure it out. Now, I've got this thing built to Australian specification so I can bring it home. Hence the reason it's probably a little bit tight to get those three trailers in. All blacked out, white, it's the Patriot Campus theme. We got it jacked up a little bit higher as well, but for the next couple of days, we're gonna be hitting the hotels. We got some miles to bank. I can't wait to get rolling down the highway. Justin and the twins have spent their first night in their new home away from home, the Patriot Campus Gooseneck and they've got a massive road trip ahead of them, next stop is the National Association of Trailer Manufacturers, an important step toward accrediting Patriot campers in the USA. The boys are on their way to Moab in Utah for the biggest off-roading festival in the USA, the Moab Jeep Safari. And it's not long before the Jeeps of all shapes and sizes start appearing on the highway. Check that out, boys. Where do you reckon he's going? Moab. Um, I'd, he's say he's, Moab. I'd say he's definitely going to Moab. We've got three Jeeps getting delivered to us down there, yeah. and we've got a couple of Polaris Razors down there too. Hey, we'll see you guys there. Yeah, awesome. We'll see, we'll see you there. Look at the suspension work in these things, man. Huh? Same. See all the sheet metal guards, man? Look yep. at that. That's got full chassis done. See all the tube around the front? Yeah. All the guards are all sheet metal. For me, supporting the guys and the team while they're over in the States, I think it'll just be a lot of on the ground work over here, making sure everything's running smoothly for them. Anything to do with the, the business setup or insurances, you know, just kind of being their, their feet on the ground here for anything that they need to help facilitate over there. Patriot Campers has only been around for four years and they've built a cult following in Australia. But Justin didn't expect to run into fans this far from home. Where do we want? Where do you purchase campers? Oh, where do you purchase? Go on the website. We're launching in Moab. We're going to Moab to the Jeep Safari. Then we'll be at Overland East, Overland West and SEMA. But you can order directly through us in Australia and we're shipping into Long Beach. Yeah? Have you seen them before? Yeah? Well, we just got here. We've been here two days. Thanks, guys. How yeah, good's that? It's been a long day on the road, so the boys decide to call it a day and stay at a local motor inn. But parking a 40-foot gooseneck trailer in the middle of suburbia is not as easy as it sounds. All right, we've got four hours. 250 miles, yeah? Yep. Down for the inspection. Look at our rig. What the f Are these people serious? We're blocked in. Yep, good park, buddy. All right, we haven't got a lot to work with there, boys, but I reckon I'll get that out. Yep. Yeah? Yeah. Um, can I have you two guys at the back? Just watch me at the back. Yeah. I'll be right at the front. Actually, Ashton, you're going to have to go up that front corner. Watch that front. You stand back here, but stay here where I can see you through the mirrors. 
and just guide me back as far as you can, all right? Yeah? You wake up in the morning, had a couple of hours sleep. We've been on the road now for four or five days. Come out in the morning and to see some moron parked right in front of me and right behind me on a 40-foot uh, rig like this. All right. What kind of moron does that? What, what kind of idiot would you have to be? All right, what are you beeping at? All right, buddy, am I good? Tell me when. Now. Ash, the front. Watch the front. Tell me when, Ash. Ashton, go watch that. Watch that back corner, mate. Watch that side. Oh, all good back here, Dad. Am I out? Of course it's easy, dude. You got the pro driver here. Can steer the big rig. All right, cool. Let's get these bags loaded up. Luckily, we had enough room to be able to get the, the trailer out. We've only got four hours to do 260 miles today. We've got to be at the NATM by 10 o'clock to get the inspection done on the trailers. Yeah, look, highway time again. Well, as anyone would know, travelling with young kids can be testing at the best of the times. But look, these two boys, they're soldiers when it comes to this sort of stuff. They're so used to it. They've been doing it since they were little kids. We didn't get as far as we wanted to yesterday. We only banked about 250, 300 miles, something like that. But spending time with the twins in the USA, driving a big F truck and a 40-foot trailer on the back, this is a memory that I know these two are going to have for the rest of their lives. The Patriot Campus Gooseneck is on its way to the NATM in Topeka, Kansas. The US certification is strict, and if Justin can't get his trailers certified now, it could be the end for Patriot Campers in the USA. We're in Topeka in Kansas. We're at the NATM, the association that's going to hopefully give us our compliance on the trailers for the US market. We've been talking to Colin for almost about a year now. Nice to meet you Glad finally. You made it in well. Thanks hey, for having us, man. Yeah, we're I'm pretty Colin. excited. Colin. These are my boys, Ashton and Christian. Good to meet you guys. Now, Ray, our head engineer back at Patriot Campers, these two have been like joint at the hip, conversing about what we need to do to make the trailers acceptable for the US market. We'll work with you and we'll, we'll get you all fixed up for, for your federal motor vehicle safety standard co compliance in the NATM. So if Justin's over in the US and he's doing this compliance and something goes wrong and he rings me up in the middle of the night and goes, Ray, what happened here? I'm just gonna have to take it. I've taken all responsibility and making sure it's right for him. I hope it all goes well. I'm pretty excited about this weather now too, huh? Oh. This first time I've, this first time I haven't had a jumper on since we've been here. And let me tell we'll you guys, your timing is perfect. It honestly did nothing but have clouds and rain for about 14 days before yeah. this. Yeah, I Yes, heard. Yesterday was decent, but I mean, you came on the most beautiful day we've had in the last three weeks, so. Cool, mate. All right, let's get these trailers out, eh? Let's have a look. You like the trailer? Yeah, oh yeah, it's a beautiful trailer. It's a beauty, huh? Yeah, the graphics look great. The guys at ATC have done a really good job. All right, boys, come on, give us a hand. Let's get them out. My position at NATM is technical director. I have been working with Patriot campers back and forth. It's Colin's first chance to inspect the Aussie trailers and carefully goes over them with a fine tooth comb. It's a nervous wait for Justin after so much work getting them ready. Everything from the, from the chassis down is all steel. Yeah? That's the, that's the first word we've had that we pronounce a, a pretty different way. So. Yeah, well, you guys say chassis, we say chassis. <laughs> you, you guys say aluminum, we say aluminium. Wow, yeah. yeah. Tomato, tomato. Yeah. Whatever. We'll probably have a few more as the day goes yeah, on, I'm yeah. sure. Now, most people who know me know I'm not a real sort of intellectual person. I'm more hands-on. That's what I do, you know? I cut steel for a living at the end of the day. Paperwork and all those sorts of things have never really been my strong point. But having someone like Colin, who knows his country and knows the regulations, it's been a godsend. There is no way we could sift through all this stuff without it. This is by far the best hitch on the market. There is nothing that competes with it anywhere in the world. It's a single spigot pin, yeah? And literally, I'll, I'll show you a pin. You put the pin in, you click that button and you're locked. You're on. And then you've got full articulation everywhere. 
So you've got a 360 degrees rotation, 180 degrees rotation here. And on that type of terrain, that's the only way you know it ain't coming off. It's not coming off. Well, although Colin seems pretty cool, I had a bit of a skip of a heartbeat there for a second when I couldn't find the paperwork for the hitch. Now, the hitch has been a really big thing that we've been working on with vehicle components, trying to get the US certification. They're really big on coupling ratings over here, and they're massive on tyre ratings as well. So how's it working with Justin? Well, it is stressful. He's always on you. But that's the thing I love about him. He's just that bull at a gate. He's always pushing, pushing, pushing. And if he wants to do something, he makes it happen. And that rubs off on everybody else. I think it's a heck of a trailer. It's, it's uh, never seen anything like it. It's, I, I wish I could hook one up to my Bronco and demo it for a few weeks. You we know could what I mean? organize that. <laughs> we could definitely organize that. But yeah, it's, uh, most of the other major stuff looks to be in compliance. And we'll just go in and cover a few things real quick. Go and all the paperwork. Yeah, yeah. The trailers have passed NATM certification. And after the paperwork is done, Colin surprises the Aussies with some good old fashioned local beef jerky. And it's off for a ride Topeka, Kansas style. Only in America. After a successful trip to the NATM, the road trip continues for the Patriot Campus crew. Next stop, Colorado. All right, boys, yes. let's, let's bang some cars out. Lie your seat back, have a little snooze if you want. We'll switch drivers in about two or three hours. So I'll do it, we'll each do 100 miles, yeah? Okay, yep. I'll do 100, you do 100, you do 100, and we'll just keep rotating like that. Yeah, okay. All right. Next time on Patriot Games, Justin and the twins continue their journey across America. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> and experience some American classics along the way. It's not. <laughs> the boys are running on fumes and vapours as they finally roll into the Moab Jeep Safari. Literally. Push, boys! I'm not joking, push! And the whole crew finally get a chance to experience some real overlanding, American style. But we're almost vertical there, right? Eh? 